this. Okay. What is this called again? This is the Miraflores. We're here in the Panama Canal at the Miraflores Locks. And uh, the guide was telling us some interesting facts about the Panama Canal. Like 40 to 50 ships per day go through here. It costs them about 150K as the fee, $150,000 to go through the Panama Canal. It takes about 10 hours. It goes one direction in the morning, then it comes back. Another direction is opened up. So it's only going one way at a time. It's, it, it makes $2.2 billion per year profit for the country of Panama, which is 12% of its gross national product. All this water that flows in and out of the locks are not done by pumps, it's just gravity fed. And he said that Panama invented rain. It's 165 inches a year, the third most rainiest country in the world. He's being a joke. And then some of these tankers, these big tankers we see can carry up to 8,500 automobiles. You think about all the cars coming from Japan into America. You know, there's a lot of rules uh, to use the Panama Canal in terms of the lock system, the guidance. You know, they use tugboats and, 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 and uh, basically like locomotives to help brake and, and keep the, the ship in the canal right. There's a lot of rules, but it saves them a lot of time because they don't have to go all the way around the South America. So it saves them a lot of money and time, uh, fuel prices. I was thinking about our, our religion, the practice of our religion. Oftentimes people will say, I just don't like all the rules. But the rules are there to teach us, to form us, to open us up to God's grace. Ten, certainly the Ten Commandments are a path that God shows us to lead a good life, you know, to lead a life that's blessed and can serve others. You know, the practices we have of going to church on Sunday, of having a good daily prayer life, of going to confession, those rules, quote unquote, help us to be holy. And it's not something that we can just do whenever we want. We need to have that discipline of practicing our faith. And then we can have like this big tugboat going by me here. We can have God's grace, God's Holy Spirit working in us to make us holy. You know, the, the, our faith gives us so many beautiful devotions and practices to open us up to God's grace that we may be holy and live by His Holy Spirit.